I hope you take the opportunity to look around and see what's new and to engage in conversation if you happen to know Joe. And uh, if you didn't know him, just look around and uh, see things that catch your eye. <clears throat> we want to continue <clears throat> the life story of this building, which began as one of Hayden Row schools, became a community center under the ownership of the patrons of husbandry, otherwise known as the Grange, and now the Hopkinton History Center, in the home of the Hopkinton Historical Society. Joe was an integral part of all these parts of the history of the building. I want to uh, digress a moment uh, to ask you to reflect upon the idea of community, time, and place. Last year we celebrated the 300th anniversary of Hopkinton, and I call attention to the beautiful quilt over here, recently completed and installed by the quilt committee under the leadership of Jean Birchman. It captures the essential <coughs> aspects of a community, namely the land, the people, and what they leave behind. Contemplate the representation of people as part of this stone wall spanning 300 years. And if you think about us being here tonight, you know, we're kind of off the, off the chart here in 2016. And I think we could point our fingers to different points along this timeline where we first came into Hopkinton. And I would dare say that uh, at this juncture, uh, most, if not all, of the people in this room would be on this right-hand side compared to the time the, the Kalala family settled here in the early 20s. The Grange, the signs that you see around the hall here, is a reminder of that time when turkey dinners and ham and bean suppers were popular community events in this hall. But time moved on and society changed. Farmers became a rarity. I can imagine Joe thinking about the future and the land that he and his family were. He decided to change careers and became a real estate developer of Charles View Estates just around the corner. He did it thoughtfully, modestly, and incrementally. Utilities were placed on the ground, streets were made curvy, and lots were sold individually. If you drive up Teresa Road, you'll see a mix of the styles and sizes of homes. That's unique as developments go today. And yes, the names of the streets are not blueberries or apple orchards or cider mills that have are long gone, but, na <clears throat> but named after members of the Colella family. Really a nice legacy. About 1990, the Grange property became available, and Mary McDonough, a realtor, collaborated with Joe Colella, her angel, to raise funds to buy a home for the Hopkinton Historical Society. The drive was a success, but the building was an eyesore. <laughs> it had ugly asphalt shingle siding, deteriorating windows, a swayback roof, crumbling chimneys, seasonal flooding in the basement, and resident raccoons. <laughs> the way forward looked pretty daunting, but Joe added aluminum siding as a stopgap measure to keep up appearances. He also contributed significant funds to move things forward. The Historical Society received from the town in the form of CPA funds. It's taken a long time to reach the point, and sadly Joe is not able to be here to see the results of his contributions. However, we do, and we want to honor him for that. <clears throat> 